Now he's gone out there and done a pretty decent time wow. with his car. What a shot. The whole reason we went to World Time Attack in the first place was to establish ourselves as the fastest R35. If we talk who's the fastest car in North America, Will has that title. He beat our time at World Time Attack. It stands today. We're going to take it back. This is, uh, this is our chance to up our game. We want to beat our personal R35 record, but we also want to bring that title back to America. So adding to our program this year is we're bringing on Rob Parsons, most commonly known as Chair Slayer. My boy! He's famous in the drift world, and the dude absolutely shreds. It kind of came to my attention that we, we have an opportunity to do something pretty cool, something pretty special, and, uh, and make some waves. Cole just dropped it on me like he drops everything else, just Oh, here you go, that's happening, Rob. I'm like, holy shit. He works in the shop every single day, designing parts and solving issues for the rest of the team. Now I get to drive it at World Time Attack in Australia with a bunch of other rad drivers like Kaichi Suchia. What the fuck, he's gonna be there. He's talented enough as a driver. He can easily adapt a hand control system. Uh, it aligns perfectly with what we do every day at Life Motorsport. As you can tell, I am in a wheelchair and we needed to put hand controls on this car. So putting this hand control system in was super easy. It's just a system that you buy off the shelf from a company called MPS. And that's all we have here is they're very bare bones system. Down for gas, push for brake, and you're ready to go. I had to extend the brake pedal just a little bit further to get a little bit more leverage off of it, but I'm able to now generate 1600 PSI of brake pressure, which is good, substantial amount. It's about what Cole can make. For us being able to be the first professionally driven, hand controlled time attack car, uh, it's pretty special. And it's a guy in the shop. Broke my back riding dirt bike on June 5th, 2011. What it allowed me to do was challenge myself with how am I gonna get back into the driver's seat of a race car. So I created a hand control system for my drift car and I built the whole car myself. That just kind of puts it into perspective, the passion that I have for it and how dedicated I am to building something amazing and driving the car just as good. Kind of the whole theme with this trip is redemption. I'm happy to say that we're locked, loaded, and ready, and this thing goes on the boat here in two days.